Hey everyone, welcome back to Boston, Massachusetts. Today, we're in Post Office Square at the moment, but we're just going to look at some various holiday decorations and parts of the city. I'm on Congress Street here. This is the Norman B. Leventhal Park. You can see some off the office building across the street there with all the Christmas trees. Great view of the buildings here. There's a Langham Hotel across the street. We're over on Federal Street now. I'm gonna walk across the street so we can see the display over in the office building at 100 Federal Street. That's what this very uh, distinctive glass building is, 100 Federal. That's very cool. And I think I'm gonna head up to Boston Comic because supposedly the, the um, Frog Pond ice skating is back so we can take a look at that. Uh, the lovely sounds of the city. It's like a chorus of horns over here. There we go, we're coming up on one federal. Looks like they have quite a big display out front, which I'll walk over to. Oh, we're waiting, you can see.
Just showing you some of the prettier holiday displays in the office buildings around Boston. That's Millennium Tower looming above there. We'll walk right by the base of it. There's the beautiful holiday lights of the tow truck. Oh, I'm trying to look up there. It's pretty tall. We're at Downtown Crossing now. Here's the T-stop. Now we're over on Washington Street again. I'll do, I'll take a swing by Macy's. They have a holiday display in their windows. See the Paramount down there. Let's take a quick walk down by Macy's here. They got their tree up. There's our windows down below here. Oh, they have a little animation there with the uh, seesaw. I think they have another one here. Yeah, the little deer is moving. The doe, I guess. it's That would be a baby deer, right? 
Or maybe not. I think it's a female deer. deer. A doe a deer. I think, yeah. I should know that. Alright, so that's the decorations down here. I think I'm going to head up to the Boston Common now. Okay, it does look like the ice skating is back on now. Pretty sweet. So yeah, I did the um, I did the Boston Common Christmas tree lighting in a previous video, so um, I already walked by a lot of these decorations. But uh, the ice skating rink was not open at that time. So I'm going by again. The lights are beautiful. Yeah, it looks like they made the rink a little smaller this year, probably to um, reduce the capacity given all that's going on. I'll walk down this way and go around. See, they're doing a little work here. Here's a good old frog statues. Hopefully that music's not allowed to trigger a copyright claim. Elephant statues trigger the face recognition in my camera. Oh yeah, look at it. They've, they've made it a little... They've made a very small portion of the normal. Usually this whole rink is uh, utilized, but it looks like they made it smaller. Really need to limit capacity, but pretty cool. Glad to see it back in action. It was totally closed down last year. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to head back into the financial district. Uh, if you want to see an entire walkthrough of the Boston Common holiday decorations, just check out the Christmas tree lighting video that's on my channel. It was just like a couple of videos ago. So I think I'm going to head back down to Washington Street and we can take a look at the decorations near the Paramount. Uh, I'll take a quick look at the tree here. There you go. Yeah, the whole ceremony of lighting was a few weeks ago. Okay, we're coming around the corner from the back deck. And then the Paramount is just around the corner. They have their beautiful holiday wreaths going. There it is. Put these lights up every year. Get a better view from across the street. I apologize, this wasn't exactly an extremely well thought out walk. I'm just sort of poking around and pointing out what I see. There's a good old opera house. Out there.
So it's looking like this weekend it might actually snow in the northern regions of New England. I'll probably head up there and try to take film something, I don't know, like a quaint New England city. I think I'm going to want to do a series of uh, quaint New England cities in this winter. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, what I'm going to do through January. Just a lot of wintry stuff. All right, I think I'm going to turn down here and see what's going on. This is still water. I've never been in there. Looks like a nice place for a drink. Probably a little expensive. There you go, I decided to stop to take this picture. I thought this would be kind of a neat Christmassy picture here through these trees and up at this building. You can watch sausage being made here. I have my camera set up. So I put it on a timer because I don't have a remote release. So I have to do long exposure, that's why it's on the tripod. I'm using the ultra wide angle another shot at it. Hopefully it stays red long enough here. It's a six second exposure. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyway, I'll post this on my video at the end. So unless I see anything else along my walk, I guess I'll call it a uh, full video here. And uh, again, thanks for walking along with me. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and you aren't subscribed. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed this video. Um, I have many more coming in the future. So this weekend, like I said, I think I'm going to do some, some uh, snow videos, hopefully. And I uh, will see you next time. Bye. Here's the Elephant and Castle. I just kind of came across this. I just love how they did up their uh, awnings here. My boat? Yeah, never mind. Here's the Elephant and Castle. I just came across this while I was walking back to the tea station. I just love how they did up their awnings here.